So the Haitian government has declared a state of emergency along with a curfew uh, since the events of the last few hours where nearly 3,600 inmates have uh, fled the main detention center here in Port-au-Prince and are out in the nature. Um, the crisis is persisting, uh, and as such, this uh, measure uh, appears as an answer from the government to the latest developments. Now, it, it is unclear uh, whether or not um, this will have uh, an effect on the reality on the ground. Uh, we already uh, expect to have a disrupted week here in Haiti. Um, major airli airlines uh, have already announced that they're suspending flights to, to Haiti, especially U.S.-based airlines, such as American Airlines and JetBlue, have already announced that they wouldn't be coming to Haiti. And the U.S. Embassy has demanded that uh, U.S., uh, the American citizen, uh, depart Haiti any mean they can while they still can. So the situation is very volatile, is very fragile, and um, it's hard to know where we're headed from there. The whereabouts of the Prime Minister Ariel Henry are unclear right now, uh, although the government has declared a state of emergency along with the curfew. Uh, it has been trying to gather support to get the troops uh, the police officers from Kenya to be coming to Haiti as soon as possible. Uh, but uh, the date of their arrival is still unknown. Uh, and uh, the situation here is very uh, urgent uh, on the streets where violence has been waging for the last few days. Um, so it's very unclear at this stage what to expect uh, from the coming hours uh, here in Haiti and what next steps the government will take to address uh, the, the emergency as it uh, rises.